Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Gimmick Quattro, and again, we are back at it with another Chaos Box. You guys will all get sick and tired of seeing this one of these days, but I never will, because I'm addicted. Yes. Look for a Legacy Pack seated 1 and 2. Is that what the Blister Pack was supposed to be a Legacy Pack? Because I totally pulled Legacy Packs last time, so, huh. Look at that. I did it. Anyways, let's just get right into this. And nobody's commented down below about this knife. And what do you want it to be named? I have been calling it Sheila, based off of a movie reference. But if somebody else thinks it's something better, then I will call it something else. Also, I'm considering buying or making my own sleeves. And getting them sent to me with Quattro's crest on it. If that's something that anybody would be interested in me in seeing, then uh, let me know, because I think it'd be really kind of fun to do. I love Quattro. I love his crest, and I think it'd be really cool with sleeves to have them. Speaking of sleeves, we're using the orange ones again. So, for the packs, we have Duelist Pack Dimension Guardians, which I've never even... This is a first edition pack, holy crap. Nice. Galactic Overlord. Sorry, if you heard that in the background, that's my girlfriend. I love that, because I love all the Tachyon Dragon stuff. And another first edition Duelist Pack Dimension Guardians. Unless I just never reprinted the set, which could be a case. Maximum Crisis. And the 9 card pack. Then we have a Duelist Pack Yugi. We have a Flames of Destruction pack. A another, ooh, we have a Speed Duel pack. Arena of Lost Souls, which isn't great, but it is what it is. And then we have a Duelist Pack Kaiba. Then obviously we have our one Mystery pack, which I will get to in a little bit. I think I'm going to start off with the... Speed Duel Packs. I know you can't really get a lot of high value. There's like a couple of cards that are like a buck or two. I think as a concept, I love Speed Duels. I think it's really cool basically bringing Duel Links into the TCG. If my camera would focus, this would be the greatest. Thank you. Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Block Attack. Magicians Unite. Snake Hair. Or the snake hair and back to the beginning. So, not like you're gonna get a whole lot of those anyways, but that was kind of fun. Um, I think we're gonna start off next with Flames of Destruction. We're gonna do the rest of the nine card pack, and then I think I might go back and forth between Duelist Pack, um, Dimension Guardians, and Kaiba. Kaiba Yugi's. Ooh, Crystal Keeper. I actually kind of like the Crystal Beast, so that's kind of nice. My Dolce Fresh Start in Red Reboot. That card was situationally good, I think. I don't remember. I think it was Red Reboot. That was good. Oh, and Crystal Master, both in the same pack. Both the Crystal uh, link, uh, bleh, Pendulums. And... Trying to say familiar. Hmm. I haven't opened up a whole lot of this set. I don't think. A few packs here and there. So it's always kind of nice getting some of the cards out of them. Supreme. Yep. Supreme. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Primal Cry. Subterra Behemoth. And Sylvian Princess Sprite. She's really pretty. It's a gorgeous card. We have Binju Hirokiro. Venue the Bright Bird of Divinity. Ani Kuji. Double Resonator. Prada Plant Darlington Cobra. And back to the beginning. In the beginning. There was one man and one card game. Galactic Overlord has always given me, I think, a lot of problems with, you know, opening it. 
which kind of sucks. It's like my favorite pack. You know what? I'm just going to leave it to the end then. I'm just not going to touch it till the end. Let's get into Duel's Pack Kaiba. So, it would be nice just to pull any type of hollow out of these packs. Um, because you're not guaranteed seated a hollow. And most of the hollows do pretty well, at least nearing a couple of dollar rain. So, lodge in the master, the mystical genie of the lamp. Ooh, so <laughs> mystic. Ring of defense. Ancient lamp. Flute of summoning dragon. And paladin of white dragon. As we all kind of saw coming there from being able to see it outside of the corner. Then I'll do a duelist pack dimension guardians. If I could get any type of galaxy eyes, like an actual galaxy eyes or one of its exceeds, that would be incredible out of any one of these three packs. I love galaxy eyes so much. I think like some of his exceeds and stuff like that are great. Zaxel is definitely one of my favorite animals ever. When it comes down to the Yu-Gi-Oh! animes, that is. Train Resonator. Cyber Angel Indenten. Identen. I don't know. Red Mirror. And Resonator Call. Well, definitely a lot of Resonator support, which is kind of nice because I don't mind Resonators by any means. Wow, I... Ugh, sorry. Wow, my voice sounded very, very shaky there for some reason. Duelist Pack Yugi Boy. Starting off with a yellow gadget, a Kribo, light force sword. Is that a light force sword in your pocket, Yugi, or are you just happy to see me? Comment down below if you know what that's from. King's Knight and Magical Hats. That's the rare. Not a great one, but, you know, you can't always get hollows. Alright, here we go. Next duelist pack. We have Dark Resonator. Red Wyvern. Ooh. That makes me kinda happy actually. Cyber Tutabon. Red Gardna. And King's Synchro. That's the rare. Alright. Let's Open up this pack here. It comes with one rare card and one booster pack. Sheila will help us. It'd be nice to get another, you know, old school. One of the legacy packs, which I think we did. I think it's Star Wars. Hey, I was right. We got our rare, and this thing was Super Anti Kaju War Machine Mecha Doran. That's just a huge mouthful. Spell rulers. So, any mini mono mode could you talk about the two? I think I'm gonna do this one. Then spell rulers, because legacy's always gotta come last. You know, one of these days I'll get something really cool out of these packs. <coughs> Maybe. One of these days, I will invest into buying a booster box worth of uh, Tachyon. Whatever it is. I don't know where the pack went. Whatever the pack this was. Um, Falling Current. Heretic Seal of Supremacy. Heretic Dragon of Toughnut. And Spiritual Light Art Hiriru. That's the rare. Or is the hollow. Sorry. Product Seal of the Dragon King. Sealing Ceremony of Radeon. Mini Guts. Nomadic, nomadic Force. When this card is destroyed, send a points monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. You can tribute this card to target one face 10% of the point controls to the target. So it's like Exiled Force, just weaker. And I think that's the beginning, yep. So, not great, but not terrible. Just kind of there. But last, yet yeah, certainly not least, we have Spell Rulers. 
I would love to receive a hollow out of here because I hardly ever get hollows out of these sets. So, Spear Cretan, Ceremonial Bell, Ancient One of the Deep Forest. <sighs> Asking you shall receive a super rare Serpent Knight Dragon. Now, I know this is not the best rare that you can pull in this set, but, I mean, it's way better than not getting, or super rare in this set, but, I mean, it's so much better than not getting one at all, so this makes me super happy. Oh, it's also a pretty gorgeous card, <coughs> so, wow. It's so nice. So nice. Then we also got Shining Angel for the rare. Common Cement Dance, whatever. Hungry Burger. I love Hungry Burger. Such a great card. Whiptail Crow. The Reliable Guardian. And back to the beginning. Alright, guys. So, I mean, all of my hollows. I didn't. I'll save these three up. I don't think most of them are actually worth it. But. Why not? I'll save them up. I typically tend to sleeve things up until I figure out what they're actually priced at. And if they're at least at a dollar and above, then I'll leave them inside their sleeves. If they're not, then I will take them out of the sleeves just to reuse the sleeves for another video. Well, so we got Red Reboot, Sylvian the Spirit, Sylvian the Princess Sprite, I don't know why it's Spirit, Spiritual Light Art, Hiri, yep, and then Serpent Knight Dragon, and then for the rares, not knowing if any of these are actually worth it, you know, Shining Angel, the Blurry. Um, Herotic Dragon of Tough Nut, Super Anti Kaiju War Machine, King Synchro, Magical Hats, Resonator Call, Paladin of White Dragon, Binju Heroko, F.A. Dawn Dragster, and back to being there. Alright, guys, well, for those of you who. The video's done. There's a bit of a message I would like to kind of put at the end here, so for those of you who've watched up to this point in time, thank you for watching. It means a lot. Comment some down below. For those of you who are curious, stay and listen to the next little bit. Um, I would like to say like one thing. If you guys do want to support me in what I'm doing, I do have a... Oh, uh, what's it called? I have a business like PayPal set up so you guys can, if I'm not asking or begging anybody by any means, but if you feel like you want to support me in some way, you can do that. Or if you, if anybody would like to send type, some type of fan mail and that becomes something of an interest to people then I will look into setting up a P.O. box so that can happen. Um, also soon, probably, t yeah, relatively soon, I'm going to post a video, a bit of an update video, just of where I am right now, what my goals are, stuff like that. Anyways, thank you all again for watching. Definitely if you've watched this last little section here, it means the world to me. Um, comment pickles down below if you made it all the way to the to the end of the video, so I know who has made it all the way down to the end. And I will hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.